Anyway, it is Halloween, so welcome. And uh, if you are participating, I did leave some instructions on the description page of the event on Facebook. Uh, basically, if you are going to be participating, I've asked that you please not have a full stomach. You want your blood to be moving in through to your head. As well, um, not to be too intoxicated. We don't want to let any weird energies come in or anything like that. Um, we are going to be calling the ancestors, so hopefully you have a candle nearby. I have my my everything candle. I always use it for most of my ceremonies. Uh, you're going to want to think about, and actually you can just follow along now if you're just catching up. Uh, you're going to want to think about what you want to get rid of. This is a great time to get rid of stuff. So um, we're going to want to burn a piece of paper, and you want to put it somewhere safe when you burn it. Uh, I would say cut the paper really little, you know, you don't want it to be too big or else you'll never burn it. Uh, make sure you have something like an ashtray or a cauldron uh, to burn it in. Um, during the, the, I don't want to say the smudging because we're not really going to smudge, but during the creation of the sacred space, you might want to light an incense. So I got, I have my Nod Champo, which I use, I use for everything actually. Um, hopefully, if you did have time to prepare, maybe you created a little altar. I made a little Halloween thingy over there with, um, actually, my book, uh, a skull. Uh, that's a real pumpkin and a statue of Osiris, who's the Lord of the Dead. And I thought that would be appropriate. Behind me, if you see right above my head there, there's a couple black owls <laughs> that we have uh, to represent the crown. We will be, um, we will be invoking the... I don't want to say the scarier aspects of pagan spirituality, but let's just say the shadow. Um, it's a part of the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. We will be invoking the crone energy. We will be invoking the Lord of the dead. And we're going to be bringing in our ancestors and communing with them. So we want to be in a clear-headed space. So are we ready? Let's go ahead and get started. I think it's time to get ready. Samhain, or Halloween, is all about celebrating the eternal part of life, the never-ending cycle of death and rebirth that we all follow. It is a time to honor your departed loved ones and to remember that even though they are not with you physically, they are very much present in spirit. Samhain is also the perfect time to reflect on all the things you have had to let go of this year, whether it be relationships, a job, or a way of life and to celebrate the new energy that will eventually take its place. When something is released from our lives, we actually enter a higher creative vibration, which can really help us to manifest all that we desire. So at this time, I'd like us all to please take a moment and let's do some grounding. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your belly and exhale. Again, taking a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your belly and gently exhale. Bringing your mind to this moment, to this place, to this time. Feel your feet or your bottom, no matter how you're sitting or standing. Feel it connected with the earth with the floor beneath you. Feel yourself grounded, connected, and rooted in the earth. Very mindful of this moment and very mindful of the work we are about to do as we perform our Samhain ceremony for 2017. Now we're going to create sacred space. I am going to light my incense. If you have any nearby, by all means, light your incense. And since we're doing this interactively around the world and we're not on the same place we're all going to create our own 
sacred light bubbles, for lack of a better term. So what I'd like you to do is to close your eyes. Again, very grounded, very centered. Taking a deep breath in. And now I'd like you to visualize a ball of white light right in your belly, in your solar plexus region. And visualize that ball spinning bright white light about the size of a baseball. And this baseball size bright white light begins to grow, begins to expand about the size now of a beach ball, expanding before you, expanding behind you, and continue to allow this ball of light to grow, to expand, coming up to your neck, down to your feet, protruding in front of you, behind you, and see this bright white ball of light continue to expand outside of your body. See it expanding above your head, below the ground beneath you, to the left of you, to the right of you. And as it continues to grow, it reaches the ceiling. It goes underneath you, it goes before you until the entire room is encompassed in this bright white light and ball of protection. We purify our emotions that may they flow as freely as a rushing woodland stream. May they never stagnate but express themselves in constructive ways. Help me in matters of joy and intuition. We purify our body of all sickness, disease, illness, and toxins. May it be healthy and strong, healed and whole, a proper temple for the expression of my spirit. We purify our minds of all stray thoughts so that it may be as crisp and clear as a mountain zephyr. May it be receptive to divine guidance and learn to discern truth from lie. May it be insightful, inspired, and motivated. We purify our will May it remain strong and steadfast when it has set upon the path to the greater good. May it never waver, but give us the courage to fulfill our destinies to the best of our capabilities and the fullest of our potential. We purify this sacred space. May no ill will enter here, protected from the west, protected from the north, protected from the east, protected from the south, protected from above, protected from below, and sealed at the center. Only those of good will may enter here. The circle is now cast. We stand between the worlds. So mote it be. Blessed be. We're now going to call upon the elements of the east and south and the west, water, earth, air, fire. If you know your directions, you can turn to the direction. If not, just allow your intuition um, for your benefit. And because I am corded here, I am going to kind of just lean toward the directions. 
Uh, my north is over here. My west is where I'm facing you. My east is behind me, and my south is to my my left. So let's take a moment, if you can, face the east. And just align with my words and pray the invocation with me. Hail to the guardians of the east, element of air, keeper of new ideas, home of the fairies and sprites, keeper of the wheel. We invite you to our sacred space this day or night to guide us in the coming year, to enlighten us with your insight. Welcome and blessed be. And now we're going to call upon the elements of the South and of fire. If you know where the South is and you wish to turn to the South, that's great. While we do this, think about fire, passion, transformation. Think about heat, warmth. Hail, guardians of the South, element of fire, keeper of the flames that burn this night to honor our loved ones, to keep the hearth warm, and to honor goddess of the hearth. We invite you into our sacred space to warm our hearts and ignite our souls. So mote it be. Blessed be. And now if you can, turn to your west. Let us feel the color blue of cool, of moist, of intuition. Hail guardians of the west, element of water, keeper of the veil between the worlds. We ask that you lift the silvery realm of the veil and we invite you into our sacred space to reveal your secrets of the coming year we ask that you cleanse our hearts and open our souls to your watery energy. Welcome. So mote it be. Blessed be. And lastly, if you can, turn to the north as we call upon the guardians of the north of Earth. Hail, guardians of the north, element of earth, keeper of all earthly elements, we invite you to our sacred circle, to our space, to guide us with your wisdom for the new year ahead, to embrace us with your strength and open the gates of the underworld. Welcome. So mote it be. Blessed be. Let's take a moment to feel the energy of all the elements that are here with us. Earth, air, fire, water. Feel the guardians protecting the sacred space as we align our energies with that of nature. We're now going to invoke the crone. So if you'd like to close your eyes and align your thoughts with mine, attune your energies as we invoke the goddess. We invoke the wise one with an open mind and an open heart. You are known as Karadwin, Baba Yaga, Sakmet, Kalima, Spider Woman, Nephthys, Hecate, and countless other names. You who are the keeper of the Akashic records and possess the knowledge of the ages. 
you are who are more ancient than the bounds of time and guard the secrets of herb and stone you who stir the cauldron of rebirth into which we all pass in death to be cleansed and begin life anew you who are the epitome of karmic justice and wise in the ways of reincarnation you who are the embodiment of the fullness of power through your ways may seem cruel and chaotic to some with your guidance and cleansing all will perish many faces you have that strike fear into the hearts of your children dark mother yet i come to you with my fears and doubts laid bare and see you without their blinds for what they truly are beautiful grandmother i welcome you with an open mind and an open heart to the sacred space welcome blessed be Let's just take a moment to align, commune with the energies of the grandmother. Allow her to speak any words to you that she may. Allow yourself to receive any messages that she may have to offer you. We are now going to invoke the Lord of death and rebirth, Father God. We invoke the Lord of death and rebirth with an open mind and an open heart. You who are known as Osiris, Jesus, Anubis, Dionysus, and countless other names. You who are the essence of our very souls, who live, die, and are reborn again in all of your glory for whose counsel is wise and just. For you teach that our souls are immortal, you who are Lord of the harvest, who sacrifices himself so that we may live, you who drive the wheel of the year from darkness to light, from barrenness to abundance, you who are the hunter and the hunted, the heartbeat of field and forest, the waxing and waning of the sun by your drumbeat move the cycles of nature many faces you have strike fear into the hearts of your children lord of the dead yet through you we learn not to fear death for it is your gentle hand and loving embrace that guides us to the summer land we welcome you with an open mind and an open heart. Take a moment to allow the energies to come into your space. Commune with the God and listen for any messages he may have to offer you this day. Blessed be. And now we are going to invite our ancestors to join the party. I'm going to give you an opportunity to go grab a, a memento. Well, hopefully you won't have to leave the room. Take a moment to think about your ancestors or any particular ancestor that you would like to commune with this evening. Or you can just attune with all of your ancestors, all of the ancestors, the 
witches, the pagans, the Native Americans, the indigenous who have passed on and have left their 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 mark on humanity for the betterment of humanity and the growth of our spirituality. I'm going to go ahead and if you do have your ancestor candle, let's go ahead and light that candle to welcome them as a beacon. And as we have the beacon candle lit to show them the way. This is the night when the veil between the worlds is the thinnest. The powers of the fairy abound. The powers are now. The powers are here. The dead walk among the living. Join in the ceremony, blessed ancestors, to whom we owe our existence. For it is thanks to your trials that we walk upon the earth. Join us this Samhain night and share with us your wisdom. Take a moment and feel their energy. Allow an image of them to come into your mind. And feel their hug. Listen to their words. The god rides the skies, leading the wild hunt in its course over the lands, gathering the recent dead, the traumatized, and the lost to your side. Take them to the field of reeds, to the summer land, Tir Na Nog, Isles of the Blessed, the illusion fields, paradise, and to the vaults of heaven. May their souls be at peace. May they be washed clean of trauma, and may they be cleansed in the cauldron of the goddess to be reborn in her womb if they choose. May they reflect on their experiences, learn from them, be purified of destructive patterns and attachments, and move on to the next step of their spiritual evolution, fresh and renewed. Blessed Lord of the dead, as you ride the skies, also gather all the vicious hatred anxiety, hysteria, restlessness, panic, and strife, and take them with you in your journey to the land of the dead so that they may be purified in the underworld. May these destructive energy patterns be laid to rest in the bowels of the earth where they would be transformed into healing for the hearts and minds of the living if it is the will of the universe. So mote it be. Now is the time we're going to burn that little piece of paper. If you haven't yet, or if you are just joining us, grab this little, grab a little piece of paper, not too big, and think about that which you want to get rid of. Think of that which you're no, you don't need anymore. That's become useless within your life, and go ahead and write it down. I'll give you a moment. Make sure you have something safe to burn it in, like an ashtray or a cauldron. And as you are writing it down, see it. Gather it. Gather its energy into that little piece of paper. Transfer it from your mind, from your body, from your heart into that piece of paper so you can be rid of it once and for all. If you're ready, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's light the paper. And if you can, or if you wish to, repeat these words with me. 
wise one of the waning moon, goddess of the starry night, we create this fire within your cauldron to transform that which is plaguing us. May the energies be reversed from darkness, light, from bane, good, from death, birth. Feel your problem being transformed in the cauldron or in the ashtray, whatever you're using. Feel it leaving you knowing that you're leaving it in the year behind you. And as we do will it, so mote it be. Blessed be. We all come from the goddess and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flows into the ocean. Hoof and horn, hoof and horn, all that die shall be reborn. Corn and grain, corn and grain, all that fall shall rise again. Blessed be. It is now time for our manifestation spell. It's a time of year where we have gotten rid of the old crops and we're going to harvest the new crops. So if you haven't already, think about what that which you are bringing into new year, into your new year. What are you manifesting in the year moving forward, in the year moving ahead? This is the time where you harvest all that good work that you've done on yourself, on your life, on your home on your spirit. So let's gather all of that energy and let's direct it into an intention to bring you what it is that you need for your growth, for your happiness, and for your spirit in the coming year. Again, take a little piece of paper if you have one. If not, it's fine if you just use it in your mind. And it's important for you to break it down into two, two or three simple words. Don't make it a big, long sentence. Don't make it too convoluted and five talking points. Three words, four words. What it is that you are bringing into your life, write it down on a tiny little piece of paper. And again, visualize it happening. Visualize it now don't wish for it it is important that you visualize it in your mind's eye as if it has already occurred see it in the present see yourself in a scene with it already manifested feel yourself there and feel yourself in gratitude for it being in your life already so let's take a moment, take a deep breath, close your eyes. And when you're ready, write it down on that little piece of paper or just in your mind's eye. And we're going to release it again into a cauldron or something that's not going to burn your house down. And just allow these words to move through you as I read them. Mm -hmm. I am an empowered co-creator, and it is a new heaven that comes, as the highest good of all is expressed on earth through me. It is a world of light, love, peace, and understanding, and I am doing my part to reveal its beauty. I begin with me. I am a living soul of the spirit, of the goddess and God that dwells within me as me I am the mother 
I am the Father, and we are one. And all that the mother has is mine, and all that the father has is mine. In truth, we are the creator. What is true of me is true of everyone, for all comes from the same source. I see only the spirit of source in every soul, and to every man, woman, and child on earth I say, I love you, for you are me, you are my higher self. Namaste. I now open my heart and let the pure essence of unconditional love pour out. I see it as a golden light radiating from the center of my being and I feel its divine vibration in and through me, above and below me. I am one with the light. I am filled with the light. I am illuminated by the light. I am the light and the word. With purpose of mine I send forth from the light. I let the radiance go before me to join the other lights. I know this is happening all over the world at this moment. I see the merging lights. There is now one light. We are the light of the world. The one light of love, peace, and understanding is moving. It flows across the face of the earth, touching and illuminating every soul in the shadow of this illusion. And where there was darkness, there is now the light of clarity and discernment. And the radiance grows, permeating, saturating every life form. There is only the vibration of the perfect life now. All the kingdoms of the earth respond, and the planet is alive with light and love. So mode it be. So let us now take a moment again to reflect on the work that we have done here. Close your eyes and review that which you have let go. See it moving further and further away from you into the distance of your mind's eye as, it is, as we prepare to release it as we open this circle in moments. And again, within your mind's eye, see that visualization that you had of that which you are creating, that which we have raised the energy to release around the world in moments when we open our sacred space. Allow yourself to feel the energy, the power, and commune with your ancestors, that those of which you've invited and those who may have surprised you and joined you in this sacred time that we've created and this sacred space that we have created. Feel their joy, feel their love, feel their presence within your heart. Know that their spirit is always with you. Your ancestors are always there to support you, to guide you, and to protect you. And lastly, let's take a moment to contemplate the cycle of life, of death, and of rebirth. Let us acknowledge the cycle that we see now at this time on our planet in the Northern Hemisphere, where the trees are losing their leaves, 
where the ground is getting cold and the plants seem to be dying. See it in the cycle of your own life, from a young child to a middle-aged person to an elder. But the planet never dies, the cycle never ends. In the spring, the trees will come back to life. And humans and all life will return to the cycle of life, of death, and of rebirth. Death is just a piece of the puzzle. It is nothing to be feared. We know this now. It is time for us now to say farewell to our ancestors. We thank them for coming, for joining us. We know that they are always with us. Let us let them go now in peace, with love in our hearts and in our minds. Until next time, dear ancestors, we love you. We will see you again soon. And to the Lord of the dead, the Sky Father, and to the crone, we thank you for joining us. We thank you for lending your energies, for teaching us, for guiding us, and to help us to understand the cycle of the seasons, the cycle of life, of death, of rebirth. We honor your presence here, and we bid you farewell for now. Go now in peace with love in our hearts and in our minds. Farewell for now, blessed be. And to the guardians of the north, the element of earth, to the guardians of the west, the element of water, to the guardians of the south, the element of fire, to the guardians of the east, the element of air. Go now in peace. We thank you with much gratitude in our hearts for joining us in this sacred space on this sacred day. We bid you farewell for now with love in our hearts and in our minds. Blessed be. And now let us take a moment to ground any excess energy, any energy that was not used in this ritual. We send down into the ground to heal the earth itself. And that big ball of white light that we are in, that bright white light, see it again in your mind and allow it to begin to slowly dissipate. See the bright white light beginning to fade away, bringing your room back into focus, bringing the space you are in back to focus, bringing you here and now at this time and space. The circle is now open. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be, and happy Samhain, everyone. I love you. Thank you for joining us today. We've got about another minute before the broadcast ends, but I do want to thank you all for joining me. It's always such a pleasure to share these, these special, intimate moments with you. Um, you are welcome to use this um, video throughout the week. Many of us won't be celebrating Samhain until November 7th. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that means, that's the astro, astronomical, astronomical? <laughs> astrological date of the cross quarter between the fall equinox and the winter solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere, which is actually the 
archaeoastronomical date of, uh, of Samhain. So if you want to use it on the 7th, by all means, um, that is the magical date. You can use it throughout the week. We celebrate all week long, many of us, in many traditions. Uh, this is a tradition that is done throughout the world in many cultures in the Northern Hemisphere. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Anyway, uh, I hope you have a great time tonight. Today is Halloween. Uh, I always kid, I kid around that this is the one day I don't mind kids coming to my house. Uh, <laughs> I love trick-or-treaters. I love to see the costumes. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll probably make a special dinner or something. Anyway, I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. If you enjoy the work that I'm doing, please do join me on Patreon. You can become a patron uh, for as little as $2 a month. Micro donations is the wave of the future for us YouTube uh, slash Facebook Live people. Um, so if you can, by all means, you can uh, get a you get some really neat little gifts and stuff like that as well. I am going to be updating all of that stuff, all the rewards. Uh, so keep an eye on that as well on the 11th, 11-11. If you enjoyed this live ritual ceremony, I'm going to be doing a three-hour workshop live, just like this, you and me talking. Uh, we'll be chatting live um, and live video. I'm going to be doing my workshop on how to speak to your spirit guides or meet your spirit guides. Uh, I believe it's only $20 that uh, we're asking for for that, but it is a three-hour workshop. Uh, you will get a certificate of completion, and that'll be on 11-11. I figured that's the be next best day uh, to having a, a thin veil to communicate with the other side. So if you've enjoyed this and you are ready to communicate with your spirit guides or your higher self, uh, you can uh, get your uh, registration. Uh, just go to my Facebook page, uh, click on events, and there's like a little place that'll take you to Eventzilla so you can register and again i believe it's only twenty dollars uh as well i will be doing a class here on the ground uh in roanoke virginia on reincarnation and past life regression and we will be doing a group past life regression if you've never had a past life regression and you want to dip your toe into it uh, this would be a great opportunity to do that and i believe that's on November 18th, and that will be at the Roanoke Diversity Center in Roanoke, Virginia. Anyway, there's our cue. I love you, everybody. Have a very happy Halloween, a blessed Samhain, and I thank you for joining me today. I love you. Bye-bye.